Hey guys, what's going on? This is John from Friends of Your Benefits. It's been about a year since I did the video on sword health and I've been getting a bunch of questions from viewers out there on whether or not the sword health digital physical therapy program actually worked and whether or not my back pain got any better. Well, today we'll go through what results I actually saw and a few things that I wish I knew before I started the program. Stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss this. But first, let's go over why I decided to sign up for Sword Health. So, a little over a year ago, I went on a beach vacation with my family, and I did something a little dumb, and I really jacked up my back, and I was in the worst pain of my life. I was looking around for different options out there in the marketplace, and I'm also enrolled in a high deductible health plan with a $3,000 deductible, and that means I'm responsible for the first $3,000 to spend before my plan will actually pay out $1. I did my research and I found out that my company offers me a form of digital physical therapy and it was called Sword Health. It's available at no cost to me. My company picks up the full cost and the whole thought process behind it is if I do the digital physical therapy, I may avoid surgery in the future. Now here's an overview of how the program actually works. It comes with a tablet that you actually follow along on and it provides exercises for you. It has these wearable sensors that you put on your body based on instructions from the tablet. And then it's also paired with an actual physical therapist who will check in with you on a weekly basis to ensure that you're progressing properly. Now, if you want to see the whole setup of the Sword Health and how it actually works, feel free to click the link on the video in front of you. Now, I decided to start the program and a few things I wish I knew before I actually started it. So, number one, if you're going to actually start the program, it's something you're going to need to dedicate some time to. Typically, you're going to need to spend 20 minutes a day, three times a week on the program to ensure that your body is getting strong and you're recovering from whatever musculoskeletal injury that you happen to have. Number two, let's talk about the wearable sensors. So the wearable sensors are very accurate and I got good feedback from them. However, one thing to note is I do not recommend wearing them with slippery or track pants. If you're doing these exercises, either put them directly to your skin or use sweatpants. In my instance, when I had track pants on, they slipped off during the exercise and didn't make for a great experience, but every time I wore sweatpants, there was no issue whatsoever. Number three, like many things in life, it's really important to be your own advocate. What do we mean by that, John, and how does it relate to sword health? So I found for me, some of the exercises I was doing happened to get a little easy over time, and I felt that I was personally ready to progress to the next level. So instead of just going through them, I reached out to the physical therapist. We had a little texting session, and she was able to up the ante on my workout routine, and I was able to continue to progress without feeling that the exercises were too easy for me. So did the program actually work? Well, I'm happy to report that after eight weeks, I was 100% pain-free. My mobility improved along with my strength. Now, that being said, I still continued on the program for an additional four weeks just to prove that the results would stay there. And once I saw the results, it was really important to me that I needed to make some lifestyle changes. So the first thing that I did and really learned is that being that I'm in my late 30s now, unfortunately, almost over the hill, it was really time to invest in stretching. So now every day I try to spend five, maybe 10 minutes a day actually doing stretching to ensure that I minimize the chance of a musculoskeletal injury happening to me again. Number two, I really try to stay active. I try to either walk my dog, Dasher, who you've seen in a previous video, around the lake. Uh, I try to spend time with my kids. I play golf. I still weight lift, but I really try to stay active and get as many steps in as possible. And where I can, I try to hit 10,000 steps per day. It's not always possible, especially if you have a desk job, but it's always really important to keep on moving. And there's a phrase I heard recently that stuck with me. It's that sitting is the new smoking. One other thing that I learned is that Sword Health and some of its competitors aren't necessarily just for back pain. My wife, Janica, she recently hurt her elbow. She's diagnosed with tennis elbow, hasn't been getting any better, and she decided to give Sword Health a try. So she's three weeks in. She seems to be seeing some results, and if she actually lets me, we'll show you some footage of her perhaps doing some exercises. If not, you're just listening to me talk in my living room. Start. 
I always feel like I'm like, Start. welcome! Now we wanna hear from you guys. Have you given Sword Health or some of the other digital physical therapy programs out there a try? And if so, did you see any results? Comment below.